Hi, this is Sean with OMU Energy, and today we're going to show you how to swap and upgrade the 12 volt battery in your Hyundai Ionic 6. So the Hyundai Ionic 6 came out last year, at the beginning of the year, and they're pretty cool. I used to drive an EV6 all the time. Um, so they're very similar. The Hyundai electrified global, uh, global motor vehicle platform is kind of the base for all of these new cars made by Hyundai, um, Kia, and Genesis. And um, they all have really cool performance profiles, but one of the really neat things that they introduced with that platform is the 800 volt battery architecture. So these sit on that 800 volt battery architecture for the high voltage pack which means that they charge at really fast rates. Uh, 350 kilowatts is the realistic value you can get at Electrify America stations. Uh, when, when the station can hit 350, these cars can take it, which is really cool. The range on these Ionic 6 are really good. They're even better than the Ionic 5s, um, and they're a little more luxurious. They're, they're pretty nice cars. The interior is just really cool. There's a lot of neat um, stuff going on. I think a lot of the the Asian import vehicles are, are like that. They have neater interiors, I think more interesting stuff. This swap is really easy. There are just six 10 millimeter bolts that need to come out to take the front tray liner out. And then once that's out of your way, it's super easy. There's one bolt that is a 12 millimeter that you remove on the front bottom lip of the battery that allows it to come loose. That's what holds the battery in place. And then you've got the two terminals to, to remove. That's it, and then you can swap it. From a tools perspective, also simple. You just need, like I said, a 10 millimeter and a 12 millimeter socket, and something like uh, a driver tool or, or even a socket wrench, of course, works just fine too. It shouldn't take you more than 10 minutes to do it. From a safety consideration, it's always good to be prepared for that. Um, I would take rubber gloves just because you're dealing with potentially live voltages. And also with a lead acid battery, if it were on the kind of uh, end, st end stages of its life, sometimes they start to crack and they leak acid out and you really don't want to touch that acid. Uh, it's nasty stuff. It can eat through your skin, of course, your clothes, everything else. So rubber faced gloves are really good for handling the old battery. With your new battery, that's gonna be less of an issue, of course. Uh, the other thing that we usually recommend, and I'm not gonna wear them today, but it's uh, safety glasses for the same reason. Uh, if there's loose lead acid, uh, or not lead acid, but if there's loose acid, you don't want that to get anywhere near your eyes. And so that's where the safety glasses come into play. This battery is, is almost brand new that we're swapping. So it's actually, it's not, a, not something we're worried about today. Uh, those are the safety tool, the safety things you need and the tools that you need. And now we will show you how to do the swap. All right, here's the six bolts you need to remove. You can just take them off and set them in the tray. Once you've removed all of those screws, there's one wiring harness that you need to unplug from the side here. You just pinch and pull, that comes out, then this tray will lift straight out and you can set it to the side. So now with the tray out of your way, you have access to the battery very easily. 12 millimeter to remove this black uh, mounting bracket down here. And you can set that to the side. Before we disconnect the 12 volt battery, we're gonna lift the that off of the, the cover for the fuse panel. Then there's one disconnect fuse right here. And this is the uh, safety loop for the high voltage. By disconnecting it, which you're just gonna pull it straight up until it unclicks, that's all you have to do. Once it's disconnected, that will prevent the high voltage system from turning on which when you have these two wires disconnected from the 12 volt battery, if the high voltage were to turn on, it could energize these unexpectedly, in which case you would have 12 volt power where you're not expecting it. So we remove that to service really any component on the car, you should remove that. But specifically when we're doing the 12 volt battery swaps, we pull that up so that we're not uh, getting potentially voltage where we don't expect it. So now that that is out, we are going to disconnect the negative lug first we always do the negative first because 
the whole chassis of vehicles is grounded. So you can see the negative wire actually just, this is a very easy example, it goes straight here and connects to the chassis. And that's all that that wire section does. And then the entire chassis of the vehicle becomes the negative lug of the battery. So by disconnecting that, it doesn't matter if this lug touches anything metal because it's all already connected. If we were to connect, disconnect this side first and touch this to something metal on the vehicle, it would actually create a short with that other terminal, which is why we take that one off first. So once that's off, then you can remove the safety cap on your positive terminal, loosen that up, and then that will just come straight out. Once the terminals are removed, you slide the battery forward and lift it up. This battery is about 30 pounds or so. We're gonna weigh it right now and show you the difference in weight between this and the lighter weight lithium ohmio battery. All right, let's weigh these. We've got the lead acid battery coming in at 30, little over 33 pounds. Now let's swap that out. Here's the LFP and that is just under 12 pounds. So you have more than a 20 pound weight savings by swapping from this lead to the nice lithium battery. All right, now we're gonna put the, the new battery in. You will just have the terminals oriented that direction and then set it down into the tray, slide it back. So we'll bring this black bracket into the front of the battery. Just goes right along the front edge. You can kind of start it by hand and then bring your 12 millimeter wrench in to tighten it down. With that in place, the battery should be very tightly secured to its spot, no forward or, or lateral shifting. So now we will reconnect the positive lug first. Then before we connect the negative, we're actually going to re-engage this loop. And by re-engaging the loop, it still won't come online, the high voltage, but as soon as it gets 12 volts, it'll be able to. So once that's re-engaged, then you can bring the negative terminal in. As a note, when you make this connection, there's a lot of things in the vehicle that are gonna to wanna to energize themselves up immediately when it starts to get 12 volts. So if you go really slow to make the connection, you can cause a little bit of arcing because sometimes there's a fair bit of current that wants to immediately run out of the battery that way. So kind of line it up nicely, and this tons of space in these cars making it easy. Line it up nicely and then push it down fairly swiftly. That will prevent any kind of arcing from happening while you do that process. Then tighten it down. All right, so you can bring the tray back in, set it in its spot, reconnect this connector on the side, and then will we re-secure all of these bolts. Now that that's done, you've successfully swapped the 12 volt battery and upgraded it to an Omu Lithium in the Hyundai Ionic 6. That's it, that's the 10 minute quickie 12 volt battery swap on a Hyundai Ionic 6. Very easy to do and this is a very worthy upgrade for this car. If you are interested, please come see us at omu.com, that's O-H-M-M-U.com. If you ever have any questions, you wanna reach out, you can email us support at omu.com and we have a support page, omu.com slash support for any questions you may have. You can go to omu.com and buy this cool lithium battery for your Hyundai Ionic 6, as well as all pretty much all EVs out there in the marketplace, uh, at least the ma more mass market are, uh, EVs. We're always working on adding new ones. So also if, you're, if you have an EV that we don't support yet, reach out to us and let us know and we'll, we'll see what we can do. That's it today. Take care and enjoy your cars.